Hey everyone, how's it going today? Eh, not too bad here. Yeah. Got the desk stuff up there. Getting ready to put the finish on and check this stuff that I did last night. It's finally laid down smooth. Second coat got that stuff. But I just mixing that up to get ready. And I didn't stir it that hard, but I've got air bubbles in there. And I don't know why. So it's fighting me. I don't know if I got a bad can of stuff or what. But uh, oh yeah. Got the munchkin helping me today. Can you say hi munchkin? Hi. Munchkin. <laughs> I'm gonna say munchkin. You just did. <laughs> And then here's the desktop. That's really laid down. Light little buff, but uh, there's that door. It's looking good. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that uh, polyurethane. It's sure giving me fits here. But, uh, yep, got that up there. Got this here. Oh, I'm thinking about making a couple more of these little jewelry boxes. And yeah, there's some old pictures of me and that in there. I don't know. Got all that walnut around here. Should make something out of it. But, uh, oh, forgot a light. <sighs> yep, got this one back here to get ready to. Got to add a couple of boards for the drawer support, so I forgot. And then put the back in this, and then this part of the desk is done. So, well, I got one more coat of finish to put on, which even the first coat on this one laid down really good. So, yeah. Yeah, I know one of you said something about a tooth. I'm starting to wonder if I got to find a dentist. I don't know. After you said how his wisdom tooth did what it did, and I'm starting to wonder if I do have a bad one and just don't know it. Or the one that is bad is worse than what I think. But it only hurts. You know, I had about two or three spells this morning, and it's only 10 20. I got woke up at 6 o'clock. But, uh, but finding a dentist, that's going to be another problem. <laughs> oh, God. So, but anyway, hip, we're trying to, I don't know if I need to let that sit. Or how the heck to get rid of the air bubbles. Because it's funny, the air bubble in there transfers to that. Because this stuff, the first coat on it, I had nothing but troubles. Even with that door. So, well, I'm going to figure out something to do here and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right. Been watching videos and that today. This door is smooth as glass right now. But the way I done it, Come across the guy that said use mineral spirits and 1200 grit sandpaper and basically wet sand it. So, you know, I did that and then I did that, well, I did it on that one door and I tested it on the entry door here and uh, I got done with it and uh, it's smooth. But then it started turning white. I'm like, God dang it. So I took some uh, Johnson's paste wax to it, waxed the door, then took my buffer and buffed it, and it shined it right back up. I mean, it looks good. But as many nooks and crannies there are in that desk, I'm not going to try it on that. Uh, I guess I'll have to find some finer sandpaper. 
But uh, yeah, there's my buffer I used. This stuff, I mean, it's. And what I. Well, I suppose I can't find that. They used to send them out in handyman mailers. It was like a sponge sandpaper. Now that I want to show you guys, I ain't going to find it. Well, I've got some here, but it's only a 150 grit. It was this stuff. Yeah, okay, fine. Make sure we don't rip off right. Anyway, it was sponge back, but this stuff was different made than this. And that stuff works really good, but like I said, that's 150 grit, and that other stuff was 220 or better. <sighs> I don't know where it's at right now, but uh, so yeah, I got uh, this. It's got the first coat on, not bad. And I'm reading that the bubbling on the first coat is pretty much normal. Uh, the only thing with buffer, now I got those little lints all over, and yeah. But uh, I got hurt and earlier. Customer come in and checked on this desk, and while she was here, I had a attack up here. Um, she <laughs> she got a little concerned because yeah, <laughs> but I got the upright part of this to get clear coated and. I just ended up taking some more pain pills. If they kick in, then I'm going to do the upper part. So tomorrow I can put the second coat on and start putting this thing together to stay together. So, and I asked her if this top of the desk was too shiny for her. She said, no, it's just right. She said she wanted a good hard surface on it so I got two good coats of polyurethane second one on this it laid down nice I mean it's just got I could find that little sandpaper I mean it's about wore out but it seems just to take that edge off yeah who knows where I put it <laughs> but anyway I guess uh, that is today Today is January 4th, 2014. Doing some more desk work, so. And uh, I know a couple of guys have messaged me. And we, uh, we've tried locally to try and get some help with stuff, and we keep getting told we make too much money. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, we're just. Got to go on my own. But uh, we'll get there one way or another. All I know is I gotta get rid of this damn pain first. It's now it's even getting the one I like talking too much or chewing food. Oh my god! Getting to the point where I don't want to eat because hopefully it don't hurt. <laughs> so. But otherwise, yep, we're getting this desk stuff wrapped up, and uh, uh, I'm trying to think what else I got to get for this. I don't think eh, I got to get some shelf supports. That's what it was. But anyway, oh, love the, love the do. <laughs> oh God. Well. I guess I'm still going and I know should put everything in God's hands and let him handle it and but uh, yeah I, I'm trying sometimes it gets hard uh, just tired of things I try going wrong so but well guys uh, oh yeah since I doors are now and I gotta get the frame made to go around that I can get that mounted and uh, maybe one of these days this next week we'll do a 
door insulation. But uh, I might have come up with a plan to save my electricity at the shop, so I don't know. I can't do anything until Monday, so uh, hopefully. But uh, yeah, so I got. Oh, hey, yeah, tomorrow should be the wife's repair video if she didn't forget her antifreeze. <laughs> I needed some more antifreeze, so. We'll do a car video. Get away from the woodworking for a time, one time or so. But uh, as for the cousin's car, since his antifreeze is so weak, I am going to drain that out. Since the temperatures are so cold, <laughs> drain his uh, system out. Just start her up, drive it outside, and park it because I, well, I need it in the shop. So, uh, yeah. Well, guys, I'm gonna quit talking, so I'm quit working that muscle, or whatever the heck. I really don't know. Oh, but get the wife's car fixed tomorrow. Might even check on the daughter's car, check to see if her computer's throwed any different codes. I, I found the scanner I need so I can check the millivolts on the. Uh, O2 sensors to make sure they're actually working. And then I had another person tell me, say, well, you know, your computer could be going in the car. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. But that scanner I found that will actually check the timing and should check the live data and the stuff I need for the oxygen sensor. 300 bucks. Well, it was down to 260 but it's, I think, $330 now again because it was on sale for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Figures. But, yeah. And when you go to rent those tools from these places, they charge you full price. Granted, you get your money back, but if I had that kind of money laying around to rent one, I would buy it so I wouldn't have to rent it, so... Yeah, but well, guys. Um, hopefully, you get through this pain ordeal and this other crap. And we'll keep moving, pay, paving forward. So, got to do something, right? I know I'll doing this all this finish work in here. It smells so nice and fresh in here. I could sleep up here. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and. Uh, Y'all take care. Thanks. Bye.